we want to find the limit as x and y approach 0, 0 of inverse tangent of absolute value of x plus absolute value of y over x squared plus y squared. For this one, we're going to use polar substitution. So we're going to let r approach 0 and then replace x with r cosine theta, y with r sine theta. We know x squared plus y squared is r squared. So by now we can factor out a r. So the r will come outside the absolute value with absolute value of r. So we'll factor that out from both of these and we're left with absolute value of cosine plus absolute value of sine. And now we're going to consider r approaching zero from the right and the left because the absolute value of r depends on what direction we're looking at. So if we approach zero from the right, the absolute value of r just equals r, and that's going to simplify with a denominator. So that's going to be cosine theta plus sine theta over r. So think of this as kind of like a constant over x. So if we're looking at a function, it's going to look like this. So as we're approaching zero from the right, that's going to go to positive infinity. So this whole insight goes to positive infinity. And one thing about inverse tangent, it's bounded below and above, below by negative pi over two, above by pi over two, and it's going to look like this. So as, so inverse tangent approaches pi over two as the input goes towards infinity. And now if we're looking at r approaching zero from the left, this absolute value of r becomes negative r because the absolute value of r is r if r is greater than or equal to zero and negative r if r is less than zero. And since we're approaching it from the left, that's gonna equal negative r. And then we're going to cancel out the r Now, as it's approaching zero from left, so if we draw the graph again, from the left, it's going down to negative infinity. So we have a negative here. This whole thing is going to negative infinity. The two negatives is gonna make it positive. So it's gonna to go to positive infinity. So inverse tangent, as the input goes towards positive infinity, is going towards pi over two. So the limit is pi over two, and we got both um, the left hand and right hand limit to be pi over two. So therefore we say the limit is equal to pi over two.